Another thing that, oh my God, there's a bug. It's okay guys, it'll go away. <laughs> Another important thing about, um, about getting active and something, oh my God, it's on my camera, get off my camera. <laughs> there's a bug on my camera. <laughs> What's I saying? Fucking ant. Um, you know, lifestyle. Uh, ugh, I'm totally ruining this. There's, <laughs> it's a little baby. That's okay, he's just in my video. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's okay, it's okay. What's up, YouTube? Today, I want to talk about something that's really important. A lot of friends ask for my advice on this. Um, this is what I used to do when I worked with Good Life, and that is um, how to set fitness goals, okay? So before I get into the nitty gritty of how to actually set fit fitness goals, I just wanna say like, I guess a cautionary tale first of all, okay? Now, like you guys saw in my previous video and my fitness story, I said there's two very important aspects to fitness. And when I say that, I mean there's two important aspects to fitness specifically, right? So there's the mental aspect and then there's the physical aspect. Now, when it comes to getting active, your fitness journey in general, there are more than just those two aspects, okay? There's also the um, nutrition aspect, which is just as important as fitness. And we'll talk about quite a bit about nutrition in future vlogs, but I've always thought that, you know, they, they always say like one is more important than the other. I honestly think they're both just as equally important because you can't have one without the other. I am a firm believer in balance in life and you know, if you just eat healthy and don't get active, that's you're not really living a healthy lifestyle. You need to get active and get moving. That's our bodies are made to move. And if you're not doing that, you're literally killing your muscle and just wasting it away. So I don't think that's healthy. Now, I don't think it's healthy either to, you know, work out super intense, but don't eat healthy at all, and you eat McDonald's and Burger King and all this garbage and you do dirty gains. I don't think that's healthy either. I think balance is key to life and to live a healthy lifestyle you need to have both important thing about uh, fitness that is not talked about is there is a science to fitness it's a science to nutrition and there's a science to fitness itself okay now i want you guys to before i get into like how to set fitness goals i want you guys to understand something okay food addiction is a real thing some of you might think that's not a real thing but there are quite a few studies and the science out there is proving that food addiction is the same thing as a drug addiction. It is a real thing. And speaking from experience, I had a sugar addiction for many years, which I told you guys in a previous vlog. Now, I want you guys to understand something. When you're trying to lose weight or when you're trying to get into a healthy lifestyle, it's not important just a lot of a lot of fitness vloggers will tell you macros and calorie counting and all this and I do think that is important when you're cutting and you're trying to lose weight but what's equally as important is what you're eating and what those foods actually do to your body now when it comes to the science of nutrition certain foods will spike your blood sugar when you're trying to lose weight and in general to live a healthy lifestyle you want to stay with those foods that are not going to spike your blood sugar level and the reason why is because when your blood sugar level spikes those are literally toxins to your liver now in response your liver produces fat and your body craves the sugar and the carbs so that's where those food carbs and cravings come from as well when you have quite a bit of processed and I, when I'm talking sugar guys I'm talking about processed sugar I'm talking about the garbage I'm not talking about fruits are the good stuff I'm talking about the garbage when you have a diet that's high in processed sugar the same chemical response that happens in your brain when you do drugs that same response happens when you consume quite a bit of processed sugar there's actually oh my god it's <laughs> oh my god there's actually quite a few studies um, that have shown on mice they took some mice that were addicted to cocaine and they put them on a water and sugar diet for two weeks. After those two weeks, they introduced cocaine. 
back into the mice life or they had the choice of doing water and sugar and the mice always chose water and sugar so I want you to understand how how severe a food addiction can actually be and what happens in your brain when you're consuming these these things so I always think it's really important when you're starting a fitness journey or you're starting to get active it's important to just like a drug addict would you know go through a, a detox program to get off drugs you need to kind of detox and cleanse your body from these processed garbage that you've probably eaten for a long time I ate it for a long time I did a cleanse you know I think it's something that's important and the reason why is it kind of reboots your system gets your tox gets all the toxins out of your organs out of your life out of your body and just kind of gives you a fresh clean slate to work on okay which means that those cravings and those addictions like you'll always have those little food cravings I do to this day but they're not going to be as intense as they once were because you're we're able to cleanse your body of that garbage now I want you guys to understand that processed sugar is garbage it's so bad for you and there's so many different names there's so many different names for processed sugar and I'm gonna put it up on the screen now so that you guys can see all the different names that could be on a packet um, you know on a food on the ingredients list as sugar because there's quite a few different names that hide the name of sugar but I want you guys to understand that there are Isn't that the most beautiful face you guys have ever seen me make <laughs> I just wanted to add something to this. Um, just because you are avoiding sugar doesn't mean that you should turn to sweeteners. Recent studies have actually shown that sweeteners are just as bad as sugar and can actually trigger the same response in your brain as sugar. Even recent studies showing that stevia actually spikes your blood sugar level as well. So everything in moderation. I still consume stevia. I usually have it in my morning oatmeal, but like I said, everything in moderation and you should be fine, but please don't turn to sweeteners because they really are just as bad, if not worse, than sugar. There are good sugars out there that come from fruits, you know? So when it comes to fruit, of course, if you're trying to lose weight, I wouldn't say don't consume a ton of fruit, but definitely you still need fruit in your diet. And the reason I'm not concerned about the sugar in fruit is, first of all, it's natural sugar. It's something that was, you know, put on this earth, we can eat naturally. The other part that's important to understand is there's fiber in fruit. So when there is fiber in fruit, it actually helps to stabilize your blood sugar, right? So it's really important to also have fiber in your, in your diet because it helps you to stabilize that blood sugar so it's not constantly spiking this is something that is become more and more common unfortunately because of food corporations they take a lot of um, fat out of products all those products that you guys see that say low in fat no fat check the sugar contact check the sodium content because I guarantee you it has more sugar and more sodium than the product that actually has the fat in it because when you take out the fat guess what you take out the flavor so they have to disguise that by putting in sugar and sodium so that's something I just wanted to do a quick cautionary tale about when it comes to um, starting your fitness journey I think it's really important to cleanse your body from these processed sugars because if you don't you it is gonna be difficult to fully stop the cravings and to really commit yourself to the journey because you're still going to have those toxins in your body, right? So I really recommend a good quality cleanse. There's tons of different cleanses you can do out there. You can always make up your own cleanse. Like for me in my previous video, like I mentioned, I did a sugar-free cleanse and what I did is I basically just took out all the processed sugar out of my life. If something had processed sugar in it, I did not eat it and I stuck to whole natural foods and actually I'm actually doing a cleanse right now again I think it's important to do a cleanse you know three or four times a year I like to say seasonally and the reason why is because your body is gonna need that there's so many toxins in our environment and you know even though I eat really clean just walking down the street there's pollution drinking tap water there's quite a bit of pollution in tap water which is really important that before you start your journey you cleanse your body of the garbage and get it out okay so on to the rest of the video setting fitness goals okay it comes to fitness and setting goals I think it's really important to understand why you want to achieve those goals I worked in a gym I used to do this on a daily basis with people and a lot of people will come into the gym when I was working there and they'll say 
you know, I want to lose 50 pounds, I want to lose 60 pounds, I want to lose 30 pounds, I want to lose, 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 lose. The other thing, the opposite of that is for the guys, I want to gain 20 pounds, I want to gain in my chest, I want to have, you know, gain in my legs and my triceps, biceps, whatever it may be, lose, gain, whatever. But when I asked them, why do you want to achieve this goal? They always gave me the same blank stare, like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I like I know I want to look better and feel better but other than that I don't know and if you don't know the answer to that question then that's where you're gonna fail in your fitness journey because you need to know why you want to achieve those goals because the why behind those goals it's what it's what's gonna get you guys to push a little harder and make you consistent and make you motivated to continuously achieve your goals now, to me in my fitness life this is what's made probably the biggest difference and like I've said in previous videos why I've been successful so I want to share with you guys maybe some of my goals and the reasons I wanted to achieve those goals and the hope that maybe it'll open up your mind and realize oh I need to probably write down the reasons why I need to achieve these goals okay I'm gonna add in some questions that you guys can ask yourself when you're writing down your fitness goals okay first thing I want to show you guys this is my fitness journal now when you're starting out in fitness or anything really in life if you don't have a plan well guess what plan to fail because you need a plan to be able to succeed and like I said that's what made the difference for me in the past was because I had a plan this time and that's what made me successful so a tip I can give to anyone who's starting out in the gym purchase something that you can use as your fitness journal because it will make all the difference Share it with you guys so there's my name and my phone number <laughs> there's the first page so the first page the first couple pages are my fitness goals and like I've said the reason that I put my fitness goals in there is because it's important to know what you're striving for but also why you're striving for those goals okay so the first one is I wanted to lose 30 pounds my goal weight is to lose 30 pounds now really sit down and ask yourself why do you want to lose 30 pounds because you know I didn't look terrible at 167 pounds but I wanted to lose 30 pounds now why did I want to lose those 30 pounds so what I put here was because I don't like the way I feel or look in clothes now when I was 30 pounds heavier I look at pictures and feel disappointed that I've let myself get this big you know when I was working at Good Life my um, manager at the time she asked me this question she asked me why do you want to lose 30 pounds and I said I said this answer and she asked me at the weight that you are now she's like do you take pictures and I thought about that and I said no actually I haven't taken pictures of like my full body in probably six months or longer and she's asked me why and I said because I don't like what I see and when I was that honest with myself I'm not gonna lie, I got teary-eyed in that moment and my manager at that time made me cry. But being that honest with myself made me really realize how much I needed to make a change in my body, okay? So the next goal that I set for myself is I wanted to be a size five in pants and a size small in tops. Now, that sound, might sound superficial to some of you guys, but why is it that I wanna achieve my goal? I asked myself this question. So I put, put down, I'm really into fashion. I'm super super into fashion but because of the size I was some of the things that I wanted to wear at that time like crop tops or or certain like dresses I didn't feel comfortable in my body because I just didn't I didn't feel confident in my body and I couldn't show my style the way I wanted to fashion's a big part of my life I love fashion as you guys will probably see in some of my videos even my gym wardrobe I like to keep it fresh, be fashionable, because it makes me feel good. The next goal is I want to do 15 push-ups and do 15 pull-ups. Now, why did I want to do that? I'm going to tell you guys something. Until I started working out, um, probably the last, you know, it's been about a year since I've been on this journey on and off, but like seriously, the last six months I've been working out. Um, until then, I had never felt strong in my life. I had never felt like I could lift a certain amount or sometimes even just opening jars is really hard for me and I think that's really sad as a woman to not feel strong I don't want any woman to ever have to feel like that we should feel strong in our life and the fact that 
I didn't feel like I could be, I felt strong or like I struggled to do push-ups made me feel weak. And I don't want any woman to ever feel like that. So the reason I put down that goal is because to me, I just felt like that would make me feel confident and strong in my womanism. Is that a word? It's gonna make it a word. So the next one is I want to live an active and healthy lifestyle. And I put lifestyle in capital letters. Now, why did I put that? <laughs> now the reasons that I had put this guys is because so many times I had done diets and I had failed at doing diets. Now here is the truth of the matter. It is not, there's no miracle diet out there. There's nothing that's gonna solve your problem with weight. At the end of the day, you need to find something that is gonna fit your lifestyle and is realistic for your life right? It is a lifestyle change that you have to make. It is not a diet plan that you're going to follow for six months because I promise you after you finish that diet, you're probably going to gain that weight back. And if it's not, you know, in a few months, it might be over the course of quite a few years. I think if you ask anybody who's done a diet, they're going to tell you that. And in my own experience too. So you have to make a lifestyle change. Now, whether that's going vegan, vegetarian, paleo, um, Whatever the diet may be or whatever, you know, holistic nutrition, whatever it is, you have to find something that works. Miracle thing that's going to work. You just got to find what works for you. For me, I eat whole foods, I eat whole fruits, I eat veggies, I do consume meat, but I'm very careful of where I'm sourcing my meat from. I make sure that it's antibiotic and hormone free. I buy good quality food, but for me, that's what's feasible for me. You know, find what works for you. Okay, my next one is I want to wear a thong bikini. <laughs> now, why do I want to do that? Now guys, I want to explain something. I want to clarify something for you guys. Now, by me saying this, oh my gosh, it's so windy. By me saying this, it, I don't say this in a way for it to be superficial. I say it because of this. When I see women in thong bikinis or I've gone to the beach and I've seen these women like in their bikinis, I've always admired them because the fact that you have the guts to wear a thong bikini, that doesn't hide anything. It shows you everything. So I think if a woman can do that, it shows that she's obviously very comfortable and very confident in her body and she doesn't really give a fuck about what other people say about her because she's comfortable in her own skin. Until recently, I have never felt like that. So I wanted the confidence to feel like that. And that's why that was one of the goals I had here. Now, the funny thing about my goals that I want to share with you guys is that most of these goals I've actually already achieved. Um, as of this morning when I weighed myself, I actually lost 20 pounds already. I am a size 7 in my pants, so I'm actually almost a size 5. I'm a size medium in tops. I can do 15 push-ups. I can't do 15 pull-ups yet. Um, even doing one is really hard, but that takes a lot of upper body strength, so I know that's gonna take a while to achieve. I do live an active and healthy lifestyle right now, so very happy about that. I have worn a thong bikini. I've done it once, and I look forward to when I can wear it again. When you're writing down your own goals, is I really want you to think about the why behind your goals. So some questions to ask yourself, okay? Why do I want to lose this weight? How will my life change when I lose this weight? Um, what will change for me on a daily basis when I lose this weight? Um, what will I do when I lose this weight, when I gain this weight? Um, what will I be able to wear? Like, what will change in my lifestyle? Um, how will I do this? When do I want to do this by? How will this affect the people around me? Like, I want you guys to ask these who, what, when, why, where questions because these questions are what's going to keep you motivated towards hitting your fitness goals. If you do not ask yourself these questions, then you're going to forget about your goals. You're going to forget about why you want to achieve these fitness goals and you're going to slowly lose motivation. So it's really important to ask you yourself the nitty gritty questions when I asked myself my fitness goals I'm not gonna lie to you guys I got really emotional and I started to tear up because I thought about how unhappy I was at the weight that I was and how happy I could be if I was able to achieve those goals so it's gonna be hard it's gonna be scary when you're asking yourself these these questions but you need to do it if you want long-term success um, like I said that's the mental aspect when it comes to fitness I have these 
goals written down in my fitness book. I also write down all my workouts in this book. Um, I was writing down my water intake and all my measurements before, but now I just keep it strictly to my workouts. So I take this book with me every day to the gym. And when I lack motivation, my goals are right there hitting me in the face as to why I go to the gym every day and what I'm striving towards. Okay? If you don't have a plan, then you're gonna plan to fail. When you're starting out, you need to have a plan. And the only way to know which way to direct your fitness, what kind of program to do, how many days to work out, what kind of diet to follow, is to evaluate your goals first. Because once you determine your goals, you can determine where you're gonna go with your fitness and your nutrition, okay? Hope you guys liked it. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Congratulations guys, you made it to the end of the video, you know what that means, it's time to like the video, you made it to the end, you might as well, please remember to subscribe to the video, new videos are every Monday and Thursday, subscribe, comment, share and like, I will see you in the next one, peace!